Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to your own Silicon Valley Tech Talks channel. This is your host, Faisal Batu from Santa Clara, California. I'm here at Open Silicon Valley annual event today. In today's short episode, we'll talk to Parker Conrad, who is the co-founder and CEO of Rippling. Rippling has made products in HR tech and how companies can manage relations with their employees. We'll learn from Parker how AI can transform the HR tech technology and how companies can manage relations with their employees. So without any further delay, let's go and talk to Parker and learn from his insights. Hi, Parker. Hey, welcome to our show. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thanks. Good to meet you. Great. Uh, so Parker, how a company manages its relations with the employees, uh, HR tech, is uh, one of the key part of digital transformation. We have seen a lot of traction on AI and generative AI after chat GPT launch. In which ways you believe that how company manages employee relations will change after this recent advent of AI and generative AI? Well, I think there, you know, there, there's a tremendous amount of like, what one of the things that AI is really good at is, is processing unstructured information. And there, there's a lot of information in HR systems um, and a lot of information in companies about employees that's unstructured. Um, you know, that's, you know, text and one-on-one -on -one documents, uh, you know, uh, feedback on, on candidates and interview panels, um, and even things like performance reviews. And I think that, um, you know, the, the ability to sort of transform a lot of that into structured data into features that can be used by other software systems, I think is really powerful. And that's, that's where I think some of the most interesting applications of AI are going to be in HR. So there is a general concern uh, among people that AI can take over human jobs. Some people are seeing AI very positively. Some people are concerned. How can we address these concerns? I think, you know, there with any technological change, there are always some jobs that end up, you know, being done by technology. And, and it's always, it, you know, it, you always look at it and you can always see, oh, no, I can see that these jobs are going to be eliminated. And it's often very hard to see what the employment growth is going to be in other areas and the jobs that are going to be created. Um, because almost by definition, those are, those, are, those are jobs that don't exist yet. So it's hard for people to imagine what they might be. But that's tended to be um, you know, the pattern with these types of innovations is that there are places where you know, em employment goes down and you know, there are places where the demand for labor out vastly outstrips the supply and lots of new and hopefully better jobs are created. Thank you very much, Parker. Thank you very much.